Right, folks, well, good morning. I'm fully charged. Let's see how much range we've got. We're fully charged. We have 271 miles showing on the gasometer, and we'll see how, uh, how the car manages on a 70 mile an hour motorway run from the New Forest up to Heathrow and back. Um, I'm not expecting to have to charge today until I get home, so let's see what the actual efficiency is. I'm going to be doing maximum permitted motorway speeds everywhere I can. Right, well, we're out on the A roads. We're going to go at the speed we can up to the speed limit. Um, if I turn the heating off, the range is showing at 269 miles. And if I turn the heating on, it's down to 255. I'm going to leave the heating on. I want to be comfortable. Uh, we're going to continue at the speed limit wherever possible, and I'll update you later on in the journey. Right, well, we've just got uh, to the end of the A road section. It's uh, 12 miles from the from where we live to the motorway and we've got some nice fuel economy on this uh, 3.8 miles per kilowatt hour incidentally the temperature is 9 degrees centigrade um, it's not as cold as it has been but the roads are sticky wet with salt and residue it's not very pleasant out there I have to keep washing the screen all the time um, so let's see how the car does right well we finally get shot of that slow HRV and take it up to 70 miles an hour that's where we're cruising. See what the lane keep assist is like on the motorway as well. Auto lane change. That works quite nicely actually. That's steered into the lane. Okay, it's all right on the motorway. Right, well we're just coming to the end of the M27 and joining the M3 and unfortunately there's a 50 mile an hour speed limit but we have been doing 70 for about 10 miles. Efficiency is at three and a half miles per kilowatt hour which is pretty good. Right, well we've just got through the 50 limit and uh, so now I'm going to pop the speed up to 70 again. Oh, that's 75. And our uh, miles per kilowatt hour has gone up to 3.9, 3.8 here, just 3.8 which highlights how much energy you can save if you have to slow down and increase your range. Anyway, we're back up to 70. Let's crack on and get to Heathrow. Well, in the distance, you can see the signs for the M25. We've covered 70 miles. Um, average fuel consumption has been 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour. We've got 170 miles range remaining and 71% of the battery. Well, there's an ironic sight, a Tesla in front of us on a low loader. Uh, may just be being delivered, there might not be anything wrong with it. But anyway, we're now arriving at Heathrow Terminal 4. Um, We've done 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour on the journey. We picked up a, a bit more efficiency slowing down on these little roads. Uh, 165 miles remaining, 78 miles traveled, and uh, car's doing really well. Okay, well, here we are now uh, coming out of Heathrow, drop the wife and ready to go home. It's an 83 mile journey home, so let's see how we do on that one. We've probably got a bit more of a headwind, so it might be a little bit less efficient. Um, car's done really well, very comfortable, very quiet, and a very easy journey. Well, we had quite a slow section on the uh, M25 there, which uh, always improves efficiency. So we're showing 3.8 miles per kilowatt hour now, uh, 88 miles covered. 156 miles left to go on the range meter, 65% battery remaining. Okay, now we're coming up to fleet services. On the um, display here, we're showing 103 miles traveled, 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour, um, average speed of 52 miles an hour. Obviously that includes getting to the motorway and getting into Heathrow and getting back out from Heathrow onto the motorway again. 57% range uh, remaining, 57% battery remaining, and 130 miles range remaining. Right, well we've used 50% battery and we've done 116 and a half miles. So on that basis, we get 233 miles out of a full battery. Um, 
107 miles showing to go. There's quite a strong headwind and as you can see, it's raining, the road's wet. Uh, we've been through some heavier rain than this, this drizzle, but it's still making the road wet and the, the atmosphere very heavy, which also affects your range, your energy economy, down to three and a half miles per kilowatt hour. That's only to be expected. Okay, well, here we are coming to the end of the motorway section. Um, 147 and a half miles covered at 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour on the display. Average speed of 54 miles an hour. Obviously, um, a long section of A road before we got to the motorway coming out and uh, all the slow bits going into Heathrow and all of that. Plus the 50 mile an hour uh, speed restriction. A large section of the M3 is currently having the uh, central reservation replaced. Two hours 42 on the journey, 78 miles of range showing left and 36% battery. Well, we've come to a halt in Lindhurst. That's a fairly common event. Um, fortunately, electric cars don't really care if they're not moving. Even with the heating on, they use hardly any power. You know, there's enough uh, for 40 or 50 hours of heating in a, a battery in a car this size uh, when you're stuck in a queue. So all those panic stories you hear about uh, electric cars running out of batteries on cold days on the motorway are nonsense. They actually do better than most petrol and diesel cars for efficiency when not moving. This journey was never going to be a problem. I'd say 200 miles, you could be fairly secure uh, of doing 200 mile journey under pretty much most conditions. Uh, we've done most of that's been on the motorway, probably about 110 miles of it. And uh, the efficiency dropped as low as 3.5 on the motorway and it's been as high as 3.8 um, when we were only on the A roads before we got to the motorway. So about three and a half miles per kilowatt hour. We'll work that out on the screen for you. Well, sadly, it was not that set of lights. We we're gonna to have to wait another set before we can get through. But that's often the case with Lindhurst. We'll be through the next set anyway. Right, we're on the home straight now. I live pretty close to here. Um, we're just coming on the A35. I'm gonna turn off for New Milton in a minute. Right, let's have a look at the figures then. Here's the uh, display. That's the journey today. I've done uh, three hours and six minutes driving, 160 miles covered, average speed 51 miles an hour. It's dropping all the time because obviously it's very slow to get in here. Um, 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour, 31% battery remaining and 71 miles covered. And um, if we go over to the uh, infotainment display and tap here, um, interesting thing to look at is the lack of regen you get on the motorway. So we've actually made about 10% regen, even, even with motorway driving. Uh, obviously you get much more in town. I'd expect to get 25% minimum regen in town. I'd get that much in, uh, in 15 or 20 miles driving in town. And the air conditioning and climate and all of that only used one kilowatt hour, very, very low. Even though I had the fan on the whole time, um, it didn't need to be very high. It's a bit warmer today, as you can see, 10 degrees centigrade. So uh, that obviously helped. But we did have rain um, for about uh, probably a third of the journey, drizzle and wet roads, which do reduce your range. So the car would easily do 230 miles under these conditions um, in, in colder weather, in winter and wet weather. So in the summer, you're going to see easily see 250 miles out of it. Let's just have a quick look at the maths. We had 31% battery remaining, which means we'd used 69% of the battery. So uh, if we go 100 divided by 69 and then multiply it by the number of miles we covered, which was 160, we should have the remaining, uh, the total mileage that the car would have done on a, on a full battery if we used all of it. And that's 232 miles.